minutes to go back there and make sure the bastard's dead. Move, Lieutenant Baird. denied any right to an attorney and may not question the authority of this tribunal. So we can't ask why you're doing this now. At the conclusion of this tribunal, I will issue a fair and swift verdict. Right. Of course you will. Colonel, are we being charged with doing our job? The charges will be defined as I hear your testimony. Now, Lieutenant Baird, begin with the last time we saw each other. The museum was on the other side of the river, the side the cog no longer controlled. I thought maybe we could slip through unnoticed. Kilo to control! I need Loomis! What is it, Lieutenant? Uh, Colonel, some grub riding a, a, a monster just wiped out every rifle at the museum. Request guidance. Kill the grub. Hold the museum. Colonel, Paddock here. This grub, Goraznia, they called him Khan. This isn't Goraznia. My army threw all we have at him. Colonel, what about the light mass missile? Cadet, leave strategy to men with bars. I don't want to hear a word from any of you until Paddock's boogeyman is dead. And I can... <laughs> Work. It's classified, but there's one here in Halvo. The inventor teaches at the academy. Yeah, Professor Elliot. I worked in his lab at LaCroix before he went military. The missile draws power from refined emulsion. The more emulsion, the bigger the bow. <sighs> Courtesy of your big boom. God. Now, how close were you to the impact point? Close enough. That thing would burn up this entire city. This one's low yield. After the Hammer of Dawn, Elliot stopped working on it. How low yield? Baird, or Lieutenant. To fire that thing, you have to get the targeting beacon. The launch codes, personally activate the missile on site, and get this all approved by command. Control, Kilo here. So, we're gonna get the light mass missile online and use it to kill General Khan. Any objections? <sighs> Works for me. All right, come on, cadet. We're going back to the academy. That's an order. <sighs> cadet Hendrick, I'm curious to hear what it takes to convince an Onyx Guard cadet to steal one of the COG's most powerful weapons. I was against it, sir. That's right. Run to Danny. Maybe you could show me and the army you volunteered for a little respect. I tried that, and look what he got me. Colonel, 
I'm an academy cadet. I had to see if my friends were alright. So, Paddock. Are you here as Major Paddock of the UIR, or Private Paddock of the COG? Whichever one you like less. The Open Arms program may have given you our uniform, but you and I remain enemies. Fine. Let's settle this like enemies, then. Hey, hey, hey! That's enough! Stand down. You Garaznis weren't known for treating prisoners very well. I'm sure you know nothing about it. Oh, I wouldn't say that. You don't seem like a man who takes orders. Why even follow Baird? You might say I had an ulterior motive. Private Augustus Cole. You've been atypically quiet until now. Oh, listen up. All we gotta do is... You actually listen to your crash ball coach from time to time? Crash ball? You're not a fan. Pretend war? No. How are you finding the real thing? I've been more comfortable. Then unburden your mind. I told you to stay on that island, Lieutenant. This court has reached a final verdict. Any last words? Men like you are why I fought the Kong. We saved a lot of people today. Yeah, including your ass. No final words from you, Lieutenant? Maybe you have a point, sir. We saved, what, a thousand people? The light mass missile was designed to save millions, I know that. But if Karn had taken Halvo, we might have lost a chance to save anyone.
so tough. There's a difference between war and cruelty. War is cruelty. And this one's not over. A word, Lieutenant? That's the last time anyone's going to address you as Lieutenant. I'm dropping the charges, but you'll never be an officer again. Yeah, why should all these brains be wasted on an officer, sir? Private. <laughs> Never. No wonder I was supposed to keep an eye on you. On me? For what? I guess they thought you might try to steal our military technology. Which you did. Illegally access military technology. There's a difference. Oh, pardon me, Lieutenant Baird. It's Private Baird now. Loomis just demoted me. My congratulations. Couldn't have done it without you. I think that means I might be in charge. Huh, perfect. Cole, do we have this much tension between us? <laughs> yeah, I think we might. Good. Just check. <laughs> There you go, Azura. No pictures, but plenty of data and maps. Knock yourself out. But it's an island. How the hell do you hide an island? Some kind of shielding device. Wow, an artificial hurricane around the island. It looks like the only way in is to go under it. Well, there's an old sub laid up at the shipyard in Endeavor. All right. Baird, Cole, you go find reinforcements. Sub or no sub, we'll be screwed if we don't get some backup. We need transport, weapons, and anyone who can fight. I know one place we can look. I'm not going back there. <sighs> Hate this stupid city. What's his problem? Long story. Only cog soldiers are this noisy. Paddock? That sidearm can go back where you found it. We need some help. And a boat. Then come with me. This do anything? Nope. Let's get out of here. Do you have any idea what you're doing? No, not really. All right, come on. Come on. Yeah. Come on, let's go. This is the plan? All right, save it, Paddock. Let's go. Perfect. Oh, there we go. Just a little bit more! 
Now to find out how seaworthy this hunk of rust really is. Someone here knows how to steer a ship, right? We're gonna kill the Locust, all of them, for good. That's what's at stake. This planet's ruined. Let the grubs have it. We've all lost people. All of us. You wanna know what happened to Sophia? Yeah. Kidnapped while she was out on patrol. I watched it happen through my scope. I was only able to kill one of them. He dropped these. You want to stay friends? Let's never see each other again. Today, I almost wanted to call you sir. Ah. <laughs> yeah. Day's not over yet. Let's go find Marcus and Don. Hmm. They're trying to save the day. <laughs> Thanks, Cole. My pleasure, sir.